hi guys welcome back to my channel so yeah i'm back vlogging so today i'm driving up to the midlands the furthest i've driven is from luton to london and yeah i'm taking that leap to drive up to birmingham hmm. <laughs> i mean i'm not scared or anything like that it's just that it's a long journey it's like an hour and a half and like what am i going to be doing for an hour and a half but my friend sent me his music mix so i'm gonna listen to that on the journey so hopefully that will keep me entertained i've got big girl i've got grapes to you know satisfy my hunger <laughs> so the reason why i'm going up is because my uni church is their anniversary and i absolutely love that church like that church is the church that really cemented me in christ so i'm going to support so i'm going to go see my brother because he goes to uni up there then i'm going to go stay at my friends and then stay at my pastor's house so yeah i'll take you guys along so i'm about to go god i cover this car with the blood of jesus and the journey with the blood of jesus i don't want to encounter any accidents any near misses the journey shall be smooth going and smooth coming amen boy you gotta pray <laughs> You gotta pray daily and i don't plan on stopping at any service station so i will check in with you guys when i reach birmingham because you're not supposed to record and be driving people that snapchat and drive i'm judging you because yes you can break the law to yourself but when you're breaking the law and it's affecting other people like you could kill someone anyways this, this video is not about that <laughs> Yo guys, so I've just arrived in Birmingham. Thank you Jesus for safe journey. However, there was a point where I was at like a variable speed limit, right? So they record your speed from the beginning to the end. It was 60 miles per hour. Why was this guy tailgating me? Like, if you want to get ticket fine, then you'll be speeding and you overtake me because I wasn't on the fast lane, but he was just there behind me for what reason? Anyways, I'm with my brother. Woo you might remember him from brother tag so the, the only reason why i came to costco is to get petrol because the petrol here is cheaper and then i wanted to get water for the families that i'm staying with because i don't like going to people's houses empty-handed so i thought like, okay if i bring the massive 40 crate of water you know it's something you know guys i bought this clamp because this is the midlands and i don't know if I park my car, will the car still remain? I don't know. So I'm going to clamp it. This was £21, but if you sign up to Halfords, you get a £10 free voucher. Thank me later. Hey, dog, come on. Hey. Mm. Up here, be up, Hey. Up here, be up. Up here, be up. Up yeah, so now we're at Star City in Birmingham. My brother's never been here before. I'm just thinking, so you come to uni here, but you don't even explore the town? Like, can not happen? So what do you even do in your free time? You just go to the same chicken and chip shop and come back home. That's not uni life. Like, I know you Gen Z people are really struggling because of, you know, the panoramic and all that stuff. But the pandemic is now finished. Explore. Make the most of your uni experience. First year was the, the best year of my life. It was so lit. So um yeah, Damela, make sure you make your life lit. No cap. Ayomide, rise. Don't waste my money. <laughs> Damela, you never get. He's wasting my money, guys. Okay, you're getting it in. Yes. Yo, you're not very good at this. Okay. Okay. Ah. Okay, 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 okay. So, how does it feel like to be a loser? <laughs> I'm a loser! <laughs> Guys, so I won at basketball. Um, we're gonna play ice hockey. I'm gonna put you guys over here. You know what? I can admit when I lost. I lost, yeah, it's fine. But I think my, my thing was broken. Do you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't aiming for the goal. <laughs> Guys, I'm treating the brother to some Nando's. Yummy. I've got water because I'm on a diet. Do you know what I mean? Guys, cut out the fizzy drinks where you can. You don't need to have 
Coke. Where is Coke? You don't need to have Coke all the time. Even though I am missing it still. But yeah, I'm going to tuck in. And I'll talk to you guys later. Not me getting into a car accident. God. Ah! Oh, I'm so annoyed. Like, God. I'm fine, but I'm annoyed. And you know what, yeah? After the accident, I didn't even cry or anything. I was, I was just, I'm just in a state of shock right now. And like, as I was driving to like my brother's university i was just thinking to myself how can you pray to god for genuine mercy and and the journey was not merciful <laughs> to be honest it could have been worse do you know what i mean it could have been worse so i'm still grateful that no one died no one was injured the damage wasn't like i, I can't it's not so i can't i can't drive this car back to Luton. do you know what i mean so i'm grateful that the damage is minimal but i'm just so annoyed that there was even damage to begin with accidents humble you before we were listening to music good afro beats after the accident dead silence <laughs> dead silence i'm gonna call my friends to like cheer me up and then um yeah hopefully i'll be in a good mood <laughs> being in this car is giving me ptsd <laughs> like today i just finished um having a nice shopping trip with my brother and i just kept on getting flashbacks of the incident like let me know if you guys have had a car accident like how did you guys recover like mentally because child <sighs> anyways i'm off to overhampton now to go meet my girl um we're gonna go out for dinner and um yeah i'll probably check in with you guys this evening or tomorrow morning guys so my girl about maybe breakfast oh, she she must flushed up guys she's flushed out mns jules if you know about mns you know good things in this life but yeah we're gonna eat and then maybe i'll show our faces when we look more presentable hi guys so i'm in slug and letters with my date <laughs> Guys, I just get fish and chips every time I go out because you can't go wrong with that. And this guy is there constantly. He's read the whole menu to it twice. <laughs> yeah. So guys, we're going to order and catch up and then um, I'll talk to you guys later. Guys, our feed is here. Thank you so much, John. This guy would never let me pay for feed. Hopefully he will never let me pay for a car again in my life. Okay, the next car I want is a Tesla. So we'll make that happen. Thank you. <laughs> It's something about a guy reversing the car it's just it's like wow look at your skill and your talent <laughs> but yeah we had such a cute day lovely catch up guys it's just so good like talking to someone that is in the same field as you so if you don't know john well you wouldn't know john but john was my um, peer my university buddy we did the same course at uni and he helped me so much like he was so there for me like yeah uni can be quite depressing but when you have like good people around you it makes it easier you know so that was john yeah she did really well you did really well too really, man. really well honestly, honestly like, every time so i thought of john i thought of a smart person so proud of her no so proud of her thanks dude john is an engineer as well so i work with roads he's more of a structure guy and yeah i'm just so proud of us honestly just to see things work out that's our uni. That's the yeah, famous, that's our uni. Let me show you. Famous. That's our university here. We did literally like a tour <laughs> of our university building. We're like, wow, remember when we used to run up there for a lecture? So, um, yeah, I, I, I don't want that anymore. <laughs> I don't want that. Even though my mom was asking me when I'm doing my master's, I said, Mom, you just focus on you. I'm going to focus on me. Period. Simple as that. Period. <laughs> because that was a traumatic time <laughs> i cried i was very depressed actually so guys when we were in the restaurant my mom was saying yeah yeah like i would like to experience like being with you i was like john but i see you as my brother and he said don't call me that i said what i said john but you are my brother <laughs> and he said he doesn't want to be in the brother's zone. i said john i can never see you as anything else but my brother do you know what I mean? Like, our friendship is really deep. But that's the case a lot of the time with guys. It's like, you see a guy as your friend. But no. If they had the opportunity, they would take it forever. Why? I mean, if you have a friend like this, what would you do? I know I'm amazing. I know I'm amazing. But it's not every single friend that you need to cross the boundary with. You know? Oh, no, no. I mean, how would you do that? 
haven't crossed boundaries. Yeah, because you. I'm not letting you. But if I, if you had the opportunity, guys. No, I told you. He said, "Oh yeah, no, I just want to kiss no. you, just to see." That's what he said. That's what he said. I said, "John, stop." It would be interesting to see how, like, being being with you, how I would feel like. You know, how would it feel? Yeah. Just to know, just to experience a little bit. That's why I said. Reverse, look at the reverse. It's the reverse for me. Look at the, the wheel driving. Yeah, turn the wheel. <laughs> turn the wheel. Yes, reverse. <laughs> Gosh, you just driving makes you this way. <laughs> It's the skill set for me. I just don't understand how you can start to like someone that has never giving you the hint that they like you uh, doesn't work that way though. does it not it doesn't okay I think, I think. so you can admit that i never gave you any mixed signals to think that oh yeah sunshine is feeling me no you don't thank you because all my friends think that it's me it's not me it's my friends so guys this is the issue that i have yeah is that i'll have a male friend and like we get on really well cool then down the line the guy just doesn't see me as a friend he sees me as more than that and it really upsets me and my home girls because i just want to have a genuine connection with my friends male and female but clearly that's too much to ask for it's like guys see one breast and they start shaking john <laughs> john yeah, yeah, what, what you see one breast that you start shaking. Why? We're gonna play truth or truth. So you start first. How does that work? So basically, you have to ask me a question and I have to answer truthfully. Your best friend? Mm hmm. How's a guy? Like, yeah. A boyfriend? Yeah, or? boyfriend, yeah. Yeah. But this guy meets all your criteria and okay. you know that if you make even a small move, you'll get a guy. Okay. Would you pursue? Mm hmm. Or just because of your friend, you let him go? Number one, I wouldn't look at my friend's man like that. <laughs> no, That's, no. no, I can appreciate a good yeah. looking man. I can yeah, appreciate yeah, a guy yeah. that has great qualities. Yeah. I can appreciate all of that, mm. but I would it would never cross my mind to think, oh, let me imagine myself with him. Oh. That would never cross my mind. But even if it did, mm. I would why would I scatter my friend's relationship when I'm not a witch? Do you know what I mean? Like that's that's witch behaviour. Mm. Nah. What would you change in me? If you had a chance. That's a deep question. Wow. <laughs> the way he looked away. <laughs> he looked away in the distance. <laughs> what would I change in you? Yeah, if you were say a creator. Wow, God forbid. God forbid. Obviously you're perfect. The way God made you is the way he wants you to be. But if I was to change something I know I'm perfect, but um, so if you were to create some model Or like if I was to change one thing about you So you were creating me and then No, like I, I get the question yeah. um, Honestly, like this is really hard That's a compliment actually mm. It's really hard It's really hard to pick fault and in it's, John It's good for me as well <laughs> <laughs> It's well, really hard to pick a fault in John <laughs> And I've known this guy for like six years Um... Honestly, you're not perfect no. because I can say no one is perfect. No. But if I was to pick, and this is, I'm really struggling, and I don't think this is even, this is more of before, because I feel like you've worked on it more now. Yeah. But I would have said the ability to read the room. Mm. Okay. Like, I feel like it's better now. It used to be worse before, mm. but I feel like you've definitely improved. But obviously, you know, you can still do a little bit more. Yeah. But it's not been that deep. But if I was to pick anything, because yeah, it's yeah. really hard to even think of what to pick, I would say, yeah, your ability to read the room and like read other people's body languages mm. and stuff like that. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So I didn't read your body language. Properly. No, it's not about me. Yeah. I don't talk about me, yeah. per se. I mean, the pudding as well. You're also bad. I didn't read your body language properly. Because Just stop, 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 stop. I don't see. See, this I'm talking about. <laughs> if I had read your body language a bit better, maybe it would have been different. <laughs> No, uh, okay. no. <laughs> you see, it's not even what I'm thinking. You see, like, That's a really good question. I'm gonna throw that question back at you actually. Yeah, if you were to change something about me. You can't I'm you, doing you it. There's no use... rules. This is my game. This is my game. <laughs> it's not fair. This is my game, two hundred. Okay? You've not oh. This is my game. So John, you... if you were to if you were to change one thing about me, what would it be? 
It's a difficult question, that's why I asked answer, you. Answer the question, man. <laughs> well, probably um, sort of modeling in a way that you understand the way also men also think. <laughs> the way our brain works, our brain is wired. Oh God! And not, and, and not like we are just, yee, but it's just the way. Guys, the only reason why he's saying this is because of the conversation that we had today. How I said, can you not well, have self-control? And he said, no. Men, they see things and they move. What would you do differently if you were to go back to uni? What would I do differently if I was to not go back to you? If we were to go back yeah. to uni? <sighs> if I was to go back to uni, the things I would do differently are one, travel more up north since I'm already in the Midlands. Mm. Because right now I'm not going to go to like Manchester or Liverpool from Luton. That's so far, you know. So I wish I did travel more up north whilst I was here. And secondly, I would have. I would have done like um, an internship to see how engineering is like because it's only when I graduated when I really understood what engineering is when I started working but in university maybe I didn't do as well because I didn't really have that understanding of why I'm doing what I'm doing you know so yeah I would have done an internship so rate rate your f***ing out of 10 my f***ing yeah what's that? Oh, I get you. <laughs> Sorry. No, I can't even put it <laughs> Okay, guys, my battery is dying, so question time over. Thanks, John. <laughs> no, he's actually dying, yeah. Oh, no. So, um, yeah, guys, I'm going to go to my uncle's house and then, um, yeah, I'll catch you guys there. I'll answer the question later. Though. Bye, bye. <laughs> So, on Saturday evening, after I left my friend John, I went to my pastor's house. So I stayed there. Ah! His wife prepared me correct amala belu okra. That is the best swallow and that is the best soup, okay? Anyone that wants to argue with that fact is a liar. So the reason why I came is because of my uni church. It was their 10 year anniversary. So we went to church that Saturday evening. After I ate amala, I only slept in that church. <laughs> I nearly slept in that church, okay? But um, it was really nice going back to the church and like they did like um, a drama performance and I used to be in the drama team and like just seeing them, it's like, oh my God, I miss it so much. Um, cool, so then on Sunday, I went to the gym because Pure Gym allowed us to go to any gym in the UK during Easter. So yeah, I went to Pure Gym in Wolverhampton. 10 times better than my gym. The gym in Wolverhampton is like 10 times better than the gym in Luton. Like, it has two floors. I used to think my, listen, this is a word. This is a message and this is a preaching right now. I used to think that my, my gym in Luton was good. I used to say, yeah, my gym is good. Good equipment, good quality. Until I went to the gym in Wolverhampton and then it opened my eyes. So sometimes we're in a situation and we think it's good, but you only think it's good because you haven't experienced better. Do you understand what I'm saying? So yes, the gym in Wolverhampton is better, way better. And I'm thinking, what am I paying for? So after the gym, then we went to church for Thanksgiving service and yeah, like, I just love my uni church, honestly. Like, it was so instrumental to my growth as a Christian. So yeah, it was really nice. Um, I was sitting next to my friends. <laughs> Cause I have some friends that still live up north. So um, yeah, so that was really, 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 really nice. Um, you know when the camera catches you? <laughs> Yo, it was just too funny. <laughs> Taking the word of God back to him at all times. And the only word of God I like to mention here before I pray and leave this place. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm gonna be vlogging way more. For my own benefit, to be honest, I can look back in a couple of years and like, oh my God, so this is how my roaring 20s were because I realised that there are times where I've gone out and I could have recorded it, but I didn't because I was enjoying the moment, which is good, but I would also love to see it back, you know, so I'm going to make the, the, the English is not coming out. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and I will see you in my next one.